This plot of wildflowers at the University of Kentucky's Spindletop Research Farm is here to attract a variety of bees and butterflies. Plains Coryopsis, Lansley. UK entomology graduate student Emily uh, Dobbs came up with a mix well. of wildflowers to attract the insects. Along with her assistant, Samantha Marksbury, a recent UK graduate, together they combed the plot looking for a variety of insects collected in bright yellow bowls filled with soapy water. High on our list of species that we want to conserve are the small solitary bees like andrinids and halictids as well as larger social bumblebees like what we've been seeing a lot of today. But we're also hoping to conserve some of our native butterflies in Kentucky as well. The goal of the wildflowers is to provide a diverse group of pollinators with a food source and refuge and for the wildflower mixture to be a sustainable choice for Kentucky turf managers. UK entomology professor Dan Potter says he and his graduate students have tried to be leaders in conservation biology and that's how Operation Pollinator ended up in Kentucky. I read about this happening in Europe and I wanted to be the first university to do this in North America. Uh, I had just the right graduate student to get into it so it was a, a good partnership. In the past five to ten years researchers estimate pollinators have declined 30 to 60 percent depending on the pollinator which can be attributed to diseases, parasites, loss of habitat and pesticides. Syngenta started Operation Pollinator in Europe over a decade ago to boost pollinator populations by creating sanctuaries for native pollinators to feed and thrive based on local conditions and plants. Research plots like this one here at the University of Kentucky Spindletop Research Farm are also located on five area Lexington golf courses, much to the pleasure of the golf course superintendents. Oh yeah, they were all very enthusiastic, very happy. Everyone wanted signs. They wanted to be able to explain to their golfers um, exactly what was going on. But everyone has been very enthusiastic and almost all of my golf course superintendents have wanted to expand the project once I figure out exactly what wildflower seed mix is going to be ideal for the Kentucky landscape. The goal of the plots is to be an option for golf course managers instead of the traditional or naturalized roughs used around tee boxes and in and out of play areas. Once researchers have the best mixture for pollinator populations, it will be available to the public. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food and the Environment, I'm Jeff Franklin reporting.